Well, hello, friends of all ages. Welcome. Welcome back into some Stardew Valley. Hey, sorry this week's been a little weird. It's been a little weird for me, too. Lots of snow coming, though, in the game. And very happy spirits. The temptation grows to go to the Skull Cavern. Maybe we will, actually. Got a lot of stuff we gotta go drop off first. Yeah. Yep, sure do. Okay, well, let's toss that over there. We'll grab out one of these. We'll take this here. We'll go like this. Boom. And we'll go bop. Okay. Oh, we got mail. Creating an enchanted staff. I need an iridium bar. I believe we can do that. Although, maybe not for a minute or two. Let's get on in here real fast and toss some things into chests. Boom. Boom. And over here, of course, boom, boom. And we'll put a couple things away that we for sure will not need while we are in the caverns there. Toss a couple things over here. Well, let's just get rid of that. Go on over here, drop this off. Come on up here and drop off a couple things there as well. Put a crab away. Uh, maybe here. There we are. Throw this out. Pop. Uh, okay, so here's what we need. We need one of those. All of those. <laughs> and that should be it, really, uh, from in here, right? Yes, we do have to run down to the... The cart just to see if... Oh, wait, we're going to need warps. Uh, if to see, we need... Oh, is there something from there. So, if to see. That's great English. No English will ever be as great as you just heard. Let me tell you right now, I have been speaking it my entire life, and that is the greatest thing I have ever said. <laughs> Maple syrup is out. Very nice. Oh, we got a pomegranate. Okay, well. It's not an apple, so therefore we don't care, uh, if we're going to be honest. I need apples, game. Please just give me apples. Uh, more than that, traveling cart, give me some apples. Uh, or, I don't I don't know, what else do you have? Ooh, a coffee, ooh, a green bean? Oh, we do already have a green bean, you know. Oh, garlic, okay, okay, okay. We got some good stuff in here. Uh, those are certainly items. Uh, the green bean, the green bean in particular. I will grab, grab the garlic as well. A uh, black chili. I would like some apples. There are no apples. All right. Well, onto the desert, I guess. Well, hello, desert. How are you today? Um, filled with good things, I hope. I suspect maybe you aren't, but, you know, just in case you are. Look at all the lovely trees we have. Honestly, we could use more. And we're off on this good luck day on our eternal quest to find treasure floors. And we should eat this candy. And hope that we find... <laughs> The one thing we need, which is an apple sapling. Although at this point, it won't matter because it's so late into the season that it wouldn't grow technically in time anyway. But, you know, just to have earned it officially would be nice. Okay, that's all we're trying to do. And there's not a whole lot going on right now. Ooh, here we go. Mega bombs! Okay, mega bombs are fun. Not as much fun as, like, Megatron, obviously. But still pretty fun. Speaking of mechs, boy, is the mech in Helldivers 2 highly entertaining. Great, great thing there. Yes, indeed. Aha! The red cowboy hat. We don't need that. But thank you for the gift anyway. Speaking of gifts, gifts... Uh, very much enjoyed doing the birthday stream of Blue Cowboy Hat with my good friend. Societal Spoon is the name he goes by. I know his actual name, but we're not going to share that, of course, on the internets. Um, he's been a good friend for a long time, and we happen to share a birthday, which is March 7th. 
and uh, usually on that on or around that day if we have the availability in our schedules we try to get together and enjoy a stream at the same time and it's always a lot of fun he is hilarious uh and cracks me up on a regular basis so we played some hell divers 2 for about five hours <laughs> on twitch and it was a, a lot of fun uh, so thanks to him and all my other friends who jumped in and played with us cactus seeds heck yeah those are seeds we didn't have yet i think uh so that was yeah it was great and uh mech mechs that you can pilot just uh, dropped today so that's pretty great the stardew valley update is coming Ooh, crystalaria hello very soon 1.6 on the way March 19th, that comes out. Uh, lots of other games also coming out that I'm interested in. Crown Wars, Unicorn Overlord, Classified France 44, lots of strategy titles. Oh, another auto petter. Hey, that's actually pretty great. All right, we'll take that. Uh, it has only been a couple of hours in the game and we have gotten a lot of treasure for us so far very exciting i'm gonna oops i'm gonna break this i would like the diamond thank you yes indeed give me the diamond game well how many how many staircases have we used we've used quite a few we're already on floor 70 which is as you might guess uh you know it's a ways in it's a ways we will go deeper, never fear. We will descend into the depths as far as we are able to. Hello, mushroom. Oh, hello. Yes. You know what I might do here, actually? Let's let's do a little bit of that. Because if we're going to mostly be... Hello, red cowboy head. If we're going to be focusing mostly on the staircases, it makes sense to have that there. And then... Well, hello. It is treasure floor day. Finally, a day that the game's like, you know what? I heard that you needed some treasure floors in your life to make it make your day better. And I'm really excited that the game finally has de decided to be so generous with us. Look at this. It's like every couple floors now. This is pretty good. Life elixir. Not something I think I need, really. Anyway, and anyhow, so yeah, so all that is, is very exciting in my real life. Uh, what's not exciting is the tendency of my hands to now be colder. I haven't had cold hands for ever, like most of my life. Hey, look, we can give one of those to the wizard. Fulfill the quest already. And the doc recently said, your blood pressure stinks. You should probably be on some meds. And I said, I'll exercise this year, and hopefully we don't have to do that for long term. And he's like, great. How about a year? And I was like, great. So I just started those, and um, that's why this video is late. <laughs> because uh, you, ca you need a little time to get used to that uh, stuff. And so I, I didn't really, f I mean, not that I felt wrong. I just didn't feel like myself for a couple days there. And was adjusting and, and all that sort of jazz and I think like now I'm pretty good we're pretty we're pretty well you know back to where we were but like I had a headache for an in, a, like a really bad headache for a long time which is a side effect and I didn't know what I could take and I had to call and I had to find out it was a whole it was a whole thing okay it was a whole thing you, you don't need all the details okay but just know that there were some good reasons why the video is late. Also, because it was my birthday. Also, because this week in my real life is just absolutely crazy busy and running around doing all sorts of things. The kids have all sorts of events. and My wife also had all sorts of events and my in-laws are visiting. I mean, it's just, you know, there's a lot going on is what I'm saying. Plus work, of course. Plus work. It's a very busy time at work for me. The time leading up to the, uh, the end of March this year is uh, is very busy. So, that's what's going on with me. What's going on with you? How are you all doing? Anything exciting or unexpected in your lives or recently? Well, let me know in the comments. I do enjoy reading. Oh, we got a pomegranate tree. 
but not an apple. Listen, game. That is... I don't want to say it's the ultimate slap in the face, but it's a pretty solid slap in the face. <laughs> Okay, but like seriously, I would like to know, friends, how you're doing. Let me know. Are you doing okay? Do you need a hug? Do you use these videos as a way to relax at the end of your long day? I hope. I hope so. That was sort of the point of the of all the, the series, really, was to uh, create something that people could listen to and enjoy and just kind of relax to while learning a little bit about Stardew. I mean, that was sort of the whole point of recording. So... I feel like overall I've accomplished that goal with these Stardew series. Um, and now we need to go accomplish that goal with another game. And I just am so undecided as to what game that should be. I do hear Pacific Drive is pretty great. Uh, so that's on the maybe list. Uh, Bandle Tail I hear is pretty solid. That's also on the maybe list. Um... So there are, there are certainly some options that are out there. Obviously, we're going to do a 1.6 playthrough. And somebody asked me on the birthday Twitch stream the other day, Hey, Hillhome, what are you doing for that? Do you have any ideas? And I said, you know what I would like to do, actually, is I would really like to attempt a uh, low-income run. That's right. You heard it here first, people. A low-income run. I would like to throw something out but I don't know what uh probably these sprinklers because I don't I don't need them low income so we're gonna set the income I think on the 1.6 series to 50 percent and we're gonna see how that goes for us um I'm hoping I don't hate it I, I think it'll be okay it'll just take a little longer to buy a couple things but like I'm not really that concerned about it I think we should be just fine. Because even there, once you get the ball rolling, it rolls, you know? It just, it goes. You know, I, I could use some gold. Let's, let's utilize a bomb here. Might as well put one here, too. And I saved my, I didn't save myself a staircase. All right, let's, let's just blow some stuff up. Let's just use these bombs real fast. Look at those Omni Geodes. I would love those. What do I not need? Arg. Let's get rid of these. Those are those are useless bombs to me. Oh my goodness. Okay, I hear you coming. And I would like to blow up a lot of this floor, please. So could you Could you stop being there? Great, perfect. Alright, so let's put a mega bomb here. We'll put one. I don't know, here, we'll put one over here. We'll run around like a lunatic and just pick up whatever's around. We'll toss a bomb there. We're not getting any copper today, apparently. Ooh, prismatic shard. Um, well, sorry, coconuts, but... Yeah, uh, mega bomb. Go there. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. There is so much going on right now. I choose freedom. <laughs> freedom. Wow. Okay. Well, that got that got a little hairier than I thought it was going to be. But I did successfully use up every single one of those super bombs, which was one of my goals. So, that worked out great. Let's grab this, and we'll switch it there, and we can use the rest of those bombs as well. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, excuse me, I would like those items, yes. Oh, there's some more over here we can do. Boop, boop, boop. That's not where I wanted you. But it worked out, sort of. Excuse me, could you not do that. Thank you. I appreciate that a great deal. Okay. Um, 
Well. Let's just toss that. We can make make more, find more, whatever. It'll be fine. All right, back to what we were doing, which is spamming staircases and looking for treasure floors. Um, let's keep going with that before our our good friend, the uh, the super rock candy, wears off here. Is every area overrun with monsters? How long is this message going to remain there? Like, that was kind of a while, really. That was that was a spicy floor back there with all that stuff and the, the bombs exploding and I almost could have convinced myself I was playing Hell Divers for a second. There were so many explosions. There are a lot of explosions in that game, by the way. Holy cow, it's pretty crazy. It gets intense. Not a chill, relaxing game like this one. This game, relaxing. Hell Divers, not relaxing. <laughs> Painfully not relaxing, in fact. Okay, iridium sprinklers I would like to keep. So, what do we jettison? Well, we have this pomegranate tree, and we're best friends with Elliot, so probably I don't need that pomegranate. Even though it was a lovely gift from the bats, it was not an apple, and so therefore, <laughs> it's dead to me. <laughs> You're dead to me, pomegranate, okay? You're not an apple. Therefore, you don't need to be there. Right then. Onward and... Ooh, another mushroom. Onward and forward. I don't know what it is about the purple mushrooms. I don't really need them. I just feel like this weird compulsion to pick them up because you just... You don't encounter them that often. No, we don't need another blue cow. We have an, a cowboy hat that is blue in our inventory right now. You know what I would like, game? An apple sapling. Could you make that happen for me? I would be oh so excited to see it. The day would be mine. I would win the internet. I would rejoice with great jubilation. There's a word you don't hear very often, by the way. Jubilation. Indeed. That is not a word. A joy you hear. Happiness. Sure. Right, but jubilation, not exactly uh, commonly used anymore. Cherry bombs, yeah, about that. Don't care. Okay, moving on. How many staircases do I have left? 137. Well, we still got time. We got time. And the chest got freedom. Oh boy. All right, well, we are probably going to have a significant lack of treasure floors now. We're out of super luck. No, we'll do a few more. We'll take this down to 100 and just see if we get any. And then probably we'll just head back to the house because I think without our good friend, the super duper amazing luck, uh, yeah, we're just not gonna, we're just not gonna get what we need here. Even though we are super low in the mines. You know what? Can we just run over here and... Maybe we get a spicy eel. Spicy eel! No. But there might be coal. Hello? Since we've never been coal hunting on these very, very deep floors, uh, all of the coal bins should be full. And I keep forgetting that and just like... Passing by all the coal, basically. Yeah, look at this. See, 25 floors here with nothing, and we were finding them just right, left, and center. Let's... Give me a spicy eel, please. Spicy eel. That is neither spicy nor eel. Okay. Great. Thanks. Have I mentioned recently my true detestation of the iridium bat because I have to say I still deeply and intently loathe them. Do I have any bombs left at all? No? Okay. Well, here we go then. This is going to take a hot minute. But since we're down to one last staircase, I figured real fast we'll just run around and maybe, just maybe, we can find a couple more prismatic shards. Since there is a ton of iridium on this floor. 
Excuse me, but you, friend, are in the way, and I would like these uh, nice iridium nodes to no longer be there. So we're just going to smash them up real fast, and uh, it'll be great. I don't have room for iron? All right, cool. Wow, four swings still. It just... Ugh. It's so much effort. No, please don't hurt me. I'm innocent. I don't I don't know why are you attacking? Please don't. Ow. Oh, a bomb. Hey. Uh, here's what we can do. We'll just do this. There we go. See, just like that. And then we'll take the bomb down here. And then we're just going to toss this. There we go. Perfect. See how that works? <laughs> that was great. Okay, moving on. Moving right along. Do 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 do. Manamana. Oh man. Oh my poor brain. All right, away with that. Let's break this. There we go. All right, last floor, last floor, and then we'll head home. And I should probably eat a cheese so that we don't, you know, pass out. Because that would be bad, and we don't want that to happen. Okie dokie. Well, we used a couple hundred uh, staircases. We are on floor 293. We could have gone much farther. We're choosing not to. You know what? We're just going to choose to leave. That's what we're going to do. And away we go. Back to the farm. We still have a good couple hours here. Let's drink this last espresso. And be on our way real fast to putting things away in various chests and getting other things out of other various chests and all that good stuff. Okay, here we go. Very nice. Prismatic shard goes over here. Okay, we got some hats we can toss in there. Oh, we already had a red one. Well, the nerve of that hat to exist in our inventory. How dare it. Uh, Alright, beans are here. Garlic's there. Uh, when, do you, when do you grow? It can only be grown indoors. Well, guess it's going in there then. Okay, we're going to sell those. we got to come over here. I'm going to put that away. Very nice. Alright, to the greenhouse. Pomegranate, you shall be planted. Are you a tree? No. So we can plant a tree here. Can I put one here? Might be. Are you too close there? What about over here? Perfect. Are those cherries? Those are apples. Those are apricots. Well, I mean, we're getting there. Just really a shame that we can't use the apples, you know. What a what a conundrum. Ten thirty. Ooh, it's gonna be close since we're way down here. And we're going to sell a few things. Sell that, sell that, sell those, sell this, sell that. Oh, you know what? One more thing while we're down here. Uh, let's just put it over here. And a little bop. There you go, friends. Have an auto petter. Okay, so both of our animal life locations have uh, some good things in them. We are continuing our experiment to go to bed before the hour of midnight in the... Again, I'm sure it makes no difference uh, <laughs> thought process here that... Uh, you know, that we can gloriously uh, utilize that to get more fruit from the bats. I don't know if we're going to make it, actually. Oh, perfect. 
Perfect timing, yes. 11.50 on the nose. And a nice cool 10,000. Which is significantly down from when we actually are growing things. You know, we're like... In general, have things around. Uh, okay, let's put this here. We do a new. We have a. We have a few things to put away. Uh, hello, roommate friend. Would you like this egg? I tried to make some human food. You can eat it later. Don't worry about it. No problem. We're we're just gonna put that right in there. And we're gonna grab out some of these. Okay, eighteen might be too many, but thirteen is probably a great number. And then we'll grab a bunch of these. Perfect. Now then, let us enjoy some crab cake, and we're going to enjoy some espresso. Hooray! Let's go! Yeah! What's going on today? Nothing. How about the weather today? What do we got? Beautiful and sunny. Oh, fortune teller! Good humor. Okay. Not great. It's good, not great. Maybe we should have put that other crystallarium up here. I would like to get to an even 50, though, and um, right now we're at 49 down there, which is a good number. Here's a vegetable from the garden I keep out back. I'm not sure how you grew that in wintertime, but hey, good for you. Um, I don't think I need it, so we're going to sell it. Let's get uh, these lovely items out of here. Grab all of this stuff and remove the volunteers. Just a little. Oh no! No! I murdered that area accidentally. We're down one forage. It's terrible, I tell you. R.I.P. Forage. Alrighty. Well, we certainly messed that up a little bit. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. I don't think. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe somebody just watching that was like, this guy is so much of an idiot, I just can't even anymore, and just unfollowed. I don't know. And if you did, don't, don't tell me. I would feel mildly bad about that, actually. I say, like, normally I wouldn't care too much, but that would actually, I, I might feel a little sad there. No! Egg, come to me. I need you in my life. Alright, fruit bats, what do you got? Please have an apple. Alright, look. Well, we're getting closer, okay? you A peach is good. We don't have those. We do not yet have a peach tree, so... Something to keep in mind, I guess. Blueberries. I love blueberries. Right. Speaking of things that are loved in blueberries, let's go up here, and I bet these are done, and we can just make jelly. Right. Right. Perfect. See? Look how beautiful that is. Now we're making jelly. I like it. What else can I sell? Nothing. We did get quite a bit of... What is that? Maple syrup? So that's nice. I can go in here. 71 maple syrup now. Okay. Pretty darn good. 100... Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. We got a lot of those left. Stack it up. There we go. Right, let's re-switch our order back around so it's back to normal. Perfect. Are we best friends with Robin? Yes. Okay, so we don't need this peach, honestly. Peaches are in spring, right? Technically. There we go. Alright, uh, what do we need to do now? We have to catch perch. Okay. I don't remember what time of day is best suited for catching perch. Also, are, is that fiber done? I 
feel like it only takes four days. Well, it's not saying anything as I run through it, as I spam the button, but let's just, let's just take a check. Okay, it's not done yet. Good to know. Let's purchase a lake fish, right? So we should maybe go to the lake. The mountain lake? Maybe. Maybe it's a river? You know what? I'm going to look because I, I don't want to waste a whole bunch of time. Stardew Valley Perch. All right, let's just see. Can be caught in the river or the mountain lake. Oh, so it doesn't matter. Okay, perfect. That is excellent. To the mines. To the lake. Hello, lake. How are you? Oh, copper. Well, don't mind if I do. And we have a spot here for panning. Lucky ring. Iron ore. Okay, they're not exactly the same thing, but that's okay. Well, here we go then. Oh, we haven't done fishing in Stardew for a while, friends. Oh, this is this is the life right here. Boy, I'm, I'm out of practice. I'm going to... I gotta hone my skills back up here before 1.6. We're gonna have to do a lot of fishing, I think, in that playthrough in order to make any money at all. There's a sturgeon. A lovely, beautiful, amazing sturgeon. The sturgeoniest of sturgeons. That's right. I probably should have actually finished more of my dinner than I did tonight, because I'm hungry. Which means I should probably eat something. But it's very late right now. As I record this, it is currently 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm not even sure if there's any fast food places still open at this point, honestly. I might have to break down and have ramen. How many do we have to catch? Ten? Uh, we might not be able to get this done, actually, now that I think about it. That's a lot of fishing. It's, and it's not so much the fishing that's the problem, it's the catching a specific fish. You know, I do wish when you look at them in here that it would tell you, like, when you caught it and, like, what times you can catch. Do I not have a perch? No, it's up here. I've caught two. That is not a lot of perch. That's all I'm saying. A ling cod. Okay, new record. New record. I should record myself saying that and then use it as a sound effect on the live streams. New record. And then people can sarcastically play it when I die like a bunch in a row or something. That'd be a good time. Okay, listen. Bass, what I would like is perch. <laughs> What if it's, like, only an early morning fish or something? The irony would be hilarious, because I would never go fishing in the morning. In the game or in real life. <laughs> Mornings and I are not good friends. Aha! We have one. We need nine more. Okay, well... We'll see how that goes for us. I'm thinking it might not go well. That's what I'm thinking. Hooray, algae! The best of all possible things that one might catch in a game. Wouldn't it be a fishing game if you didn't have that in there? Oh, that is a sturgeon. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Oh, or a ling cod. It could be a ling cod. One of the two. They're both sort of feisty. The ling cod. Although, upside, ling cod, worth, worth pretty good money. I'll take it. Thanks. Somebody was speculating that whether or not you get more trash, you know, or like algae and stuff is based on your reaction time to pressing the button after that little symbol appears. And I'm like, I really don't know if that's the case or not, but 
That would be interesting if it was. So if you had slightly slower reactions, you would catch less fish overall. And I think that's interesting. And then my next thought is, I wonder if you could, like, perfect, uh, oh, what do they call that? Like, not, f not well, it's not frames, really, because that's, like, something different. But if you could figure out the perfect timing for that somehow via, like, some, some sort of code testing and just, like, deliberately catch trash. You know, if you knew exactly how long after or whatever, you could try to train yourself to only catch garbage. And I think that would be pretty funny. Would I do that myself? No. First of all, I don't have the coding skills. But secondly, I, what would I do with all that garbage, you know? I don't know. Wow. Could you maybe stay inside the bar, please? Maybe I should focus a little bit here. Focus on the fishing. Aha! And we got a geode. Okay. I think we caught a couple perch in that monologue somewhere as well. I think we have three now. I was mildly paying attention. Listen, it's not that I don't pay attention. It's just that maybe some of the details escape me sometimes. That's all. That's all. That is all. Wee. That's a lot of fish moving on the bar. Boo -boo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Whoa, 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 whoa. In other a YouTube tangential news, uh, the Survive 100 Days in Hardcore Minecraft uh, is continuing slowly. So I was trying to get it done before uh, Valentine's Day. I knew afterward I'd be really busy. Uh, I'm mostly done with the recording part, and then the editing has to begin. So I have no idea when that'll actually get done. I don't know. May, June, later? Uh, yeah, it just depends on how much time I have to put into it, honestly. And how much, uh, well, at this point in time, how much Helldivers 2 takes up of my free time. Which currently has been, like, all of my free time. More or less. Really fun, really fun game with friends. And like so many of my friends have it. It's it's crazy. I'm keeping my eye out on uh of course the uh, the chill gaming genre as well. And um I mean I haven't really seen a lot that I'm like, yes, that's pretty cool. I did see news that they were working on another Subnautica game, which is interesting. I think Subnautica's like, I don't know, it's almost like lightning in a bottle. Like, how do you capture that same sort of experience twice? I, I don't know that you can, really. Uh, I will say, too, there is a game sort of like Subnautica that I know is being worked on, and I cannot think of the name right now, but you fly an airship around. And last time I looked into it, it had about 10 hours or so of content. And they were working on adding more. It is an early access. And um, I think that game will be pretty fun. I, Planet Crafter. Planet Crafter is another game that I sort of look at. And I'm like, how grindy does that get, though? Does that get grindy? Does, has anyone played that? Leave me a comment if you played Planet Crafter. Not watched a video series, but played it. How much... How much grinding of resources is involved? Because that's really the concern. I don't want to have to cut out, you know, like five hours of footage just because, well, I mined a bunch of iron. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not, that's not very entertaining to me because that's five hours of stuff that I know I have to do, but then, you know, isn't going to make it in the video. And I don't know. I just, I don't like that. I like, I like showing all of you all of the things, not, not just the interesting tidbits and bits here and there and, and whatever but all of the uh, all of the things even the boring parts so you know what to expect if you are to play the game yourself you know imagine like no one knew 
the amount of time it took to actually play through a run of Stardew, right? And you watch a you watch a series where and I caught 10 fish and it's just like pling 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 pling. You know what I'm saying? And like none of the none of the waiting in between, none of the oh I here I I caught like eight items of garbage in a row or whatever. You know, and then somebody gets the game and like, oh, this seems like a pretty pretty cool chill game and like, you know, things happen pretty quickly. And then you go you go fishing yourself the first couple of times and you're like Wow, I hate this. Why would anyone do this to yourself? This is this is incredibly boring just waiting on this. Because you know at the beginning especially they don't really bite that fast, and um, you have no way to increase it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I like that's part of why I, I show you all the things because I feel like you know if you're gonna watch and you're gonna use the one resource in your life that you don't ever get more of, which is time, and you're gonna spend that time hanging out with me, then I just feel like you should know what to expect if you're gonna play the game. Now, I can see the argument as well. You're like, well, if you respect people's time, why not cut out the boring parts? And I'm like, that's why YouTube invented two times speed on the video. <laughs> it's the best of both worlds, really. I've had many people tell me that they put all the videos on two times speed, and, uh, I'm okay with that. I would not want to, like, make it that speed myself. Like, in the export, because I would sound mildly like a chipmunk at that point. And I I just... I don't want to do that. Oh, man. As funny as I would find it. As funny as I would find it, I don't want to do that. It would be pretty funny, though. Let's be honest with each other, okay? That would be pretty funny. Boo -woo. That is one of my favorite sound effects in the game, by the way. Boo Love it. Yeah, and well, there are a couple games I really want to get around to uh, for video series, but like, like right now, for instance, not the time. So busy. Oh my gosh, like crazy busy. Um, maybe over the summer I can sneak in time to do to do another game. Because I would really like to just sit down and, and do a bunch of, like, a game that I'm very, a couple of games I'm really familiar with. So I don't have to worry about, like, figuring them out. Like, uh, uh, I've mentioned it before, but uh, Reseteer is how I pronounce it. You can also pronounce it Reketeer. It's a, sort of a play on, you know, that racketeering, essentially. Um, super fun game. You You own an item shop. You have to pay off a debt. You have a certain amount of time. Shenanigans ensue. Um, you meet a whole ridiculous cast of characters. There's dungeons to run around and uh, get items in and that you can sell to the people or craft for new items. And It's sort of like was one of the, f one of the, I would say, one of the first games I became aware of, at least, in that genre. And I really enjoy it. And it's not that long of a game. We could certainly do a series on it. That's on my list. Obviously, uh, Haunted Chocolatier, whenever that comes out, is on the list. And there's a couple others I'm kind of interested in as well. I keep debating, uh, what, qu qu Cuisineer? Cuisineer? However you pronounce that one. C-U-I-S-I-N-E-E-R. Um, which came out some time back. Uh, which is... You know, resource gathering and then cooking. You run a restaurant. Uh, looks like a lot of fun. I did pick up Dragon Quest Builders on sale, so I've got that. Oh, and I bought today one of my favorite games, friends. One of my favorite games of all time. SimCity 3000 Unlimited on sale on Steam right now as I record this video for like $2. Uh, and I love that game. And I will probably play it again very soon. I will find some time. I will make some time in my life. And I will play it. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Because my goodness do I love that game. Lucky ring. Okay. A ton of ore. And some geodes. Actually the geodes is kind of a rare find. Isn't it? From the. From panning. I feel like it is. I don't recall finding a lot of Omni Geodes. Huh. What are we at? Eight? Seven? Seven. 
I don't know what time they stop biting. I'm gonna guess eight, but we're gonna we'll, we'll go a little longer. We'll fish a little more. With a little bit of fishing. Uh, so I was pondering this. Here's our ponder. Ponder is a great word. I was pondering. I was ruminating over this the other day. Uh, I don't have a lot of favorites. Like I was, I really gave this a lot of thought. I have, I have many things that I enjoy. But if I had to try to pick a favorite out of them, I don't think I could. Let me give you an example. I really like uh, Warhammer 40k novels. They're just entertaining to read. They're relaxing for me to read. I couldn't tell you a favorite. I could tell you several of the series that I really enjoy, but I couldn't tell you, like, a singular favorite. I could not tell you a favorite song. I can tell you many songs that I enjoy a great deal. I don't think I could tell you a favorite. Um, movies is a little easier. That's kind of a shorter list, which is why it's easier. I often do say my favorite movie is The Usual Suspects. I really like that film. I think it's very cleverly designed. Um, another film that I that I found to be very clever, especially the first time that you watch it, um, and and sort of zany and and just weird and funny as well, is the uh, original Hoodwinked. Is great. Um, good movie. But like a, outside of that, to say a favorite, I don't know. I enjoy a lot of different films. Uh, so it's hard to, it's hard to pick, you know? There's a couple films that I enjoy, too, that I, there we go, we got it done. That I have, um, not watched in a long time. Like, I haven't watched, uh, Gladiator or Gettysburg in a long time. Um, there's, there's others. But, yeah, no, a favorite movie. I don't think I have one. I certainly do not have a favorite video game. Um, I just have games that I really like a lot. I don't have, like, favorite ones. At all. We really caught a lot of fish. Holy cow. You know what? Let's keep some perch. I wonder... What can we do with them? I bet we can cook them somehow. But yeah, I just... Or, or even food. Like, okay, I like potatoes. There's potatoes that I don't like in terms of ways you can prepare them. Like, I don't like scallop potatoes at all. It, it, I just don't. It's not my thing. I'm not a big fan of them. But other than that... Uh, I, you know, potatoes are tasty, so I eat them, <laughs> and I don't really worry too much about how they're cooked. Uh, it's, they're tasty. Uh, anyway, yeah, that, and that's kind of where I'm at with, like, most, like, most things, okay? Like, I just, I don't have, a, like, a favorite, and somebody was asking me about it just the other day, and I was like, I really just... I, I don't, I don't think I have favorites. Do you have favorites? Let me know. Are you, are, or are you like me and, you know, you just don't, there's just not something that you would say, you know, oh, I, I really like this and I really like that, but it's, it's just not a favorite, you know? Like, what, where are you at with that? I feel like I talked about that for a really long time and I'm sorry, but it's, it's really been on my mind a lot lately. So I just want to point out that even if we were doing half income, we still would have made 18,000, which is pretty great. <laughs> so here we are. So we made 10K from, what did we do? What did we sell? That's 10K worth. Oh, all those eggplants. Okay. Pretty significant. We made over $8,000 fishing. Okay. Utterly ridiculous amounts of money from fishing. We sold a ton of diamonds, got a ton of money. I mean, just, you know, uh, I don't know. 
I just think a, a, a half price run would be a lot of fun. That's that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All right. Well, that'll do for this video, friends. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had fun. Hope you learned a couple things, uh, if nothing else, about my weird and zany life. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your weekend and take care until then.